Hey, it's Mr. Campbell, and today you're going to do another logo using Adobe Illustrator, and we're going to be tracing the McDonald's logo. So to start off with, what I'm going to do personally is uh, like clean up my workspace here. So if I go to uh, this workspace menu here and just choose uh, Essentials on yours, you probably have to choose Reset. You guys have a newer version than I do, and I'm going to go File New. And always remember, if you mess this part up with with a new document size. Uh, you'll be hurting. So, for example, if I forget to change my points to inches, let's just be clear what 10 points is. 10 points is, let's change back to inches, that's only 0.14 inch. So you absolutely need to have 10 inches by 10 inches for this logo. So we are going to use three layers on this, so let's open up layers. Really good idea to just like undock your layer panel and make three new layers. So I'm going to have one down here called Name. I'm going to have one called uh, Tracing, and I'm going to have one called Art. And we name our layers so we know what's supposed to be on them and keep track of what uh, we're supposed to be doing. So lock the layers you're not using just to make sure that you're not messing up something that you don't want to mess up. If I can't draw with the text tool, for example, it means I'm on a locked layer. So let's make sure we're on the right layer. And I'm just going to use point type by clicking. And I'm going to put name and Stuff's in my way. I'm having a hard time typing here. Let's go, Rob Campbell. That's me. So, as long as we can read it and it makes sense and the capitals are in the right places. There we go. So, there's my name, and I'm going to lock that layer because I'm done with it. And on my tracing layer, I'm going to import an image. So, the image I'm going to import is File Place. Always use Place. Don't try to copy and paste. You want to get reliable results on this. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I put it. It's in my Illustrator folder in my documents. So I double checked. Documents, Illustrator. Always keep track of where your stuff is. Be organized, you guys. The less, uh, the more organized you are, the more likely it is to get your job done efficiently and on time. Look at all these cool logos we're going to work on later. Nike is down the road. VW. Okay, coolness. Today, McDonald's. There's that. Next, we want to stretch this. I'm going to use Shift to prevent any distortion of my image. So I want to make sure I'm maintaining the aspect ratio of it and crank up the size. And it's also kind of distracting uh, to see this. So if I push enter, it's going to accept my, oops, wrong button. Enter. Oh, apparently that's right. Okay, so let's just keep that then. And that's going to now import that. And what I want to do, because it's really bold and red, uh, I'm going to dim images to even like 30%. Okay, and I'm going to lock layer and I'm going to turn off print. So when you turn this in, we don't want to see your background layer. So that's now locked, and we're going to art layer, and we're going to draw there. This is where it gets fun and interesting. We're going to take this, uh, and we're going to use the ellipse tool. There's a lot of ways to pull this off, but I like to work with shapes because I get nice, smooth uh, drawings out of it, and I like to get as uh, few points as possible from the get-go. The more points you have, the more challenging it is to straighten things out. So even though I could use the pen tool and make my own points, in this case, it's easier because I reduced the number of points in the image using shapes. So I reduced the opacity up here so I can see through my shape so I can try to like uh, get it in the right way. And it's not really perfect. We're going to get as close as we can and then adjust later. Okay, so I'm just going to get as close as I can. Let's see how I'm doing here. Yeah, you know, it varies. So there we go. That one's going to have to move over at some point. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this arch and then we're going to copy it to the other side and flip it over. So there's no reason to do the whole thing twice if you could do it once and copy it over. It's one of the basic print tenets of uh, graphic design. So if I alt drag that down, I've just made a copy of it by holding down the alt key and uh, I'm going to shape that up. So I'm trying to use this to cut it out. So as you probably guessed by now, I'm going to use the uh, Pathfinder to make that happen. So it's pretty close. Again, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. We're going to adjust the points later. So now I'm going to go to the window menu and I'm going to choose Pathfinder. And the Pathfinder lets me use minus front. Going kind of fast. And you can slow this recording down if you want to. Uh, now I have this kind of mustache shaped thing happening there, but I want to cut that off. So I want to get flat at the bottom. And uh, I'm going to cut it later. I'm going to cut that one off there. So I've got two places to cut it off. Oops. I actually wanted to alt drag that over. Okay. So I'm going to use this one first and minus front. And then use this one second and minus front. So now I have 
points where I want points. And I got to adjust a little bit. So to see this better in context, let's change the opacity. Opacity, by the way, is the opposite of transparency. So as I bump this into shape, now I can see it better. And let's take maybe these two points.